All right, you guys, we're back with even more of the absolutely delicious details that are tucked into the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Today, we're gonna be watching through a trailer that I started to watch, and then I started freaking out so much about the things that are in here. I knew I had to stop and share it with you guys. So let's go ahead, look at more of these wonderful details and get even more excited for the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons tomorrow morning. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. This one. Let me just look at how cute this is. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh my gosh. I just love the cherry blossoms. I am really, really, really hoping that the cherry blossoms will be blooming when we land on the island. I already have some great name ideas for our island that we're going to be sharing. But if you guys would like to, do please leave some name suggestions or share the names that you're picking for your islands in the comments because I would love just to get the, the ideas, the inspiration when we can create so many different things. You could go completely wild, you could build up a total city, you could build up a farm, you could make like a themed resort island. You could go in so many different directions this time. And so I would love to know what you guys are thinking about doing, what names you're looking at, and what kind of details you're really excited for in New Horizons because look at how beautiful this is. I really want to set up a place where you can just sit down and watch the cherry blossom petals spin through the spring sky next to you. And that would just be such a perfect, wonderful place to just relax the spirit. So that's one of my goals. My heart really wants that. I love the butterflies everywhere. I wonder if there might be a correlation between how many plants you have in an area and how many bugs will show up. I'm pretty curious about that because that would be a nice little detail. Oh, just look at the butterflies. Look at the cute little footprints in the sand. I am 99% sure we're actually going to see that because the footprints in the sand thing actually happens in Pocket Camp as well. And did you guys know, if you take your shoes off in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and walk on the sand, then it has little barefoot footprints, which is just so cute. All right, oh, look at the cute little Dodo Airlines. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that they went with a dodo as well. As you guys know from our pixel biology adventures in the past, dodo birds are actually from an island, or they were before, you know, we ate all of them. And so I think that's just such a cute little detail that we're dealing with island birds while going to an island. Also, I appreciate the safety efforts with the little buoys that are put everywhere, little life preservers. All right, so what do we have here waiting for us? I think this is gonna be really cool because when you land on the island, I believe you start with two other villagers that are randomized. And I'm really excited to meet who those random villagers are going to be. But in the future, if you actually want to bring a specific villager in, there has been confirmation that the amiibos will work with Animal Crossing. So if you have the amiibo card of your favorite villager, you should be able to go ahead and summon them in. However, there are not yet any amiibo cards for the new villagers, and there are going to be a handful of new villagers coming in. So I'm pretty curious about how that's going to work, but I can't wait to be able to see them. I can't wait to see Tommy and Timmy standing behind Tom Nook telling us about their new island expedition. This is gonna be very exciting. Okay, oh, look at the waterfall. I just love that. And I love that you can put the furniture outside. That is gonna be so nice to really just bring a sense of theme and life and story to these islands. I wanna set up like a little research area next to our tent as one of the first things we do. Cute little bookshelf, cute little table, put a whole bunch of the animals that we collect over there until we can like get an actual museum. That would be so much fun. Oh, look at that. Oh, and that's right. You can actually have the villagers who join you ask you where they should put down their tents. You can control where people will move on your island to the extent that if you put down a house in the future, I have seen evidence that you can scoop up a whole house that like cherry that's the dog we're looking at right here if we put cherry's house down we built her a house on our island and we were like wait i didn't want it there i have seen evidence that suggests you can just scoop that house up and you can put it in a new part of the island to continually change and terraform what your island will look like mind-blowing i tell you absolutely mind-blowing 
Also, look at the way the wind is making the trees move. That's so fun. And that butterfly. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Though I just noticed something, guys. You keep seeing apples in all of these trailers as the starting fruit. Have you guys seen any other type of starting fruit for the islands? Because I think I've only seen apples. And I'm wondering if to get the other fruits, you have to go fly to the random island through using your nook miles that you can collect doing different tasks. Uh, and collect fruit from other islands. So, hmm, gotta think about that. Yay! And then I love this so much, the cute little crafting bench on this, this tree stump. These kinds of details that make such beautiful immersion just make for such a great experience and they just warm my heart, guys. They really do. I love the little campfire that you could have on the beach. Are you guys gonna be in the beach or the forest? I think I'm gonna be in the forest. Oh, oh my gosh, and look at the big... I didn't even see that before, even though, like, I've seen this, I just, I, I never noticed this huge drum. What is that for? Is it supposed to be, like, a bath? Are you gonna cook in it? Am I gonna make soup? I have so many questions, and I love, oh, look at it, just everything scattered about. She's doing her laundry. You could do a whole deserted island thing where you just keep it low-key the whole time living on the edge look at that okay a the fact that you can just pole vault over rivers now just blows my mind i freaking love that instead of having to run and run and run and run all the way around to find a bridge or find an outlet that you can reach and i really love the tiers that you now have to the land so it's not going to be one flat horizon you're going to be able to actually climb up these cliffs that you see in the back all the way to the top that's not just decorative you can build a little ladder and eventually you can even terraform it into slopes so that you can climb all the way to the very tippy top and see what's hiding up there very cool oh oh no 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 go back i want to look at the fish give me that fish for just a second Look at this. Okay, so we've got beautiful seashells. We have fish food down on the ground. I have noticed that you can put everything on the ground. Uh, you can put down your shoes. You can put down your clothes. You can put down the animals that you catch. You can put down the tools that you have as well and set the tools around so that they're decorative too. And I'm not familiar with the fish food because I can't ever remember seeing fish food in Animal Crossing before, but it looks like you can now craft fish food. So, hmm. It, has that been something in the past? I don't remember. And look at this bug. I just, I love it. I love it. And you can see that here and with the the fishing rod she's using, this is a very basic fishing rod that's just like a twig with a leaf on it. And then this guy is actually catching bugs with a very, very basic like bug catching net. Eventually you can upgrade those tools if you want to. And I think they're higher quality and they don't fall apart on you faster. But if they do fall apart, you can craft yourself new ones. So much fun. Look at him, he caught it. Oh, there was another bug down here. Oh, that was so cool. I can't wait to build up our whole collection. And fossils, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Not to mention you can put the fossils down on the ground outside as well so we could decorate with big, beautiful T-Rexes just outside of your tent if that's what you wanted. I can't wait to see Blathers and Celeste come back. I love those two. Also, I love the Able Sisters. And I never noticed this before, but look at how cute this little basket of laundry with a fresh sprig is. Oh, that's adorable. You can see some boots down over here. Peaches! Good! Evidence of a different town fruit right there. The Able Sisters store right over here. We've also got like a cute... I think this is a different clothing rack here or maybe you can change the color of the clothing that's actually hanging on the rack and the rack itself that would be fantastic i love the hyacinths holy cow do i love those flowers i love the little sled i love the able sisters so good to see that they're gonna be here look at their cute little shop oh my gosh this is gonna be so much fun i can't wait to do shopping in here look at that hat oh that's so adorable oh my gosh and look at all of the stuff that we have here I have seen so many different kinds of hats and items that you'll be able to decorate with. Of course, I'm absolutely obsessed with all of the hibiscuses that you see in this line, but there's also a little drippy nose, kind of like Daisy May, who's going to be the cute little turnip selling boar that we're going to see. Uh, I think she helps her grandma, who used to do like the turnip sales. But there's like drippy nose, not my favorite thing, but I think it's kind of cute. I've seen things like a paper bag that you can put on your head. I've seen masks that you can wear. I mean, look at these. There's so many options. 
I've seen beards as well. Oh, and then, oh, right here, right here. Did you see this? So this is really interesting. I think this is a special star wand that you actually get from Celeste is what I'm kind of inferring from the details that I have seen. And you can transform into different special event outfits. Look at the royal outfit over here. Are you kidding? I didn't even think about the fact maybe we could try to build up like a little royalty island. So cute. But there we have a kimono. It looks like we've got like some jump suits for like working out lots of dresses maybe you could like use the wand to store some of the clothes that you really like because then instead of having to carry around eight outfits you could go ahead and just have them kind of hidden inside of the transformation wand that's my guess of maybe how that works it could be completely wrong but i love it also what i really love over here are the plants you can see roses yellow roses over here we've got some beautiful black lilies over here orange lilies over here pink lilies over here daisies of different colors how we get those colors is kind of up in the air i wonder if plant breeding will be returning it is in pocket camp as well as new leaf so probably and look at that back there i spy with my little eye next to the museum entrance a cherry blossom tree in a pot and a bonsai tree that is a hundred percent a bonsai tree i see you over there bonsai tree also a cute little sign down here that's adorable two types of bridge beautiful kimono i love the reef on the door i've seen at least two different varieties of reefs for the door at this point i love the books every time i see that stack of books i am really just completely tickled to pieces i love the different designs that we have got uh, i love his hair too this is just so much fun we've seen this little clip before not this one though look at this oh my gosh I love the kebabs on the grill. I love the adorable little fruit basket. I'm a huge fan, as you guys know, of these coconut drinks because they remind me of my beloved chips. This whole thing is set up to really like show off a party section at a beach. I wonder if the seashells will still show up even if you have items down here. I wonder how you get the sand castle. There's like little floaties. I wonder if the animals will play on that. DJ table, uh, outhouses, I think like the, the like toilets that you can move around back there, surfboards, pool. And then this is very interesting, a giant freaking beach. How do you get that giant beach? Why? I have so many questions about this that I'm just, I'm completely perplexed about this giant peach and I am very curious about why it exists, how you get it, and I absolutely want to get my hands on it. Think about how cute it would be to like have a peach festival. You could set up a peach festival in your town event area and you can also see an archway made out of seashells over here. I have seen in other clips and pictures actually big giant seashells and seashell furniture. So there's going to be a lot we can decorate with. I'm really freaking excited about that. We've seen this clip yesterday of being able to put down the paths. This is amazing. This is amazing. And I don't even know where to begin. Her adorable outfit, her beautiful little hairband, the gorgeous setting the delicious looking food, the beautiful architecture that we have everywhere, the walls, all of the details, the, the really cute little tea spot. I mean, the flooring, look at the multiple types of flooring we have in here. We've, we've, I, I don't even, I don't even know how to begin with this. I hope you can invite villagers into your house so that they'll just kind of stand around and actually interact with your little shop that you built. It makes me want to get something to eat, like looking at that food. My mouth is watering. And also slightly concerning, but really adorable, is the fact that I think I see two turtles. I think there's two turtles inside of these bins over here. And I'm really hoping that they're the pet turtles of this, this restaurant. But that kind of makes my head spin because I don't remember ever seeing a turtle in any Animal Crossing thing ever, other than, you know, the actual mayor. So what do you guys think about that? Because I'm pretty sure those are a couple tortoises. They're, I really hope this isn't indicating they're for like dinner. Uh, I hope that they're just like the pet store items. But I, I just, what? You know what I mean? Like how? Where did those turtles come from? That, where? 
I need to know, can you catch turtles now? And speaking of catching things, check this out! This is actually a moving, I know we're paused, but this is a moving wallpaper. I have seen at least two different types of moving wallpaper now, which I'm just so excited about because it brings the rooms to life. And these are also examples of the seashell furniture that I was just talking about. You can see the archway right over here, a seashell speaker. There is a giant cowrie shell down here. There is actually a sand dollar sitting on top of a sea urchin over here. I really think this is so cool. The little ship in the bottle. I mean, look at this. You've got a beautiful seashell fountain. There's some sort of gorgeous lamp thing right over here. This is a seashell clam bed that I can just see the outline of with a pearl in it. We've also got uh, just like his outfit. Also here, this water down here, let's back up for just a second. Look, it's splashing. When you walk on this floor, the floor is also animated and splashes with you. What? I really want to have a grass one that has like little poofs of, of grass or something that come up when you walk on it. Uh, also, this is so cute. An adorable little shop, lots of cute little plants scattered everywhere. I will note the walls are really interesting because if I remember correctly, you can put things at different varying heights which I really love. So if you look to the left, you can see there's a ton of stuff hung up on those walls. And the way that you can move things around in batches, the way that you can slide items around your room is so much easier now. Everything and everything I've heard about reported about it uh, really indicates that decorating your house is going to be much easier than the very tedious way that you would do it in the past. I love the little wheatgrass plant. I love that there's a little globe over here. I love this cake. I want to eat this cake. The papillion that's made out of stained glass at the back is so cute. Like, look at all these details. You could really make whatever you dreamed of. Whatever you dreamed of. And the museum! Are you kidding me? That museum, I just absolutely have to have that museum. I need to get into the museum we go! Look at these! Look at these! Look at this! Look at this place! Look at the, like, actually, more or less, like, properly life-sized and, and sized dinosaur bones we have here. The museum, you guys. That's going to be one of my very first goals, is building a complete museum. Our whole island is going to be dedicated to researching for that. And look at this! Look at this! Look at this beautiful aquarium! I just can't even handle it! I can't! There's so many different places that have shown up. There's more to that museum in the Nintendo Direct. I just... I just love it. I can't wait. The museum's going to be a huge deal. And look here and you can see that this is kind of a clip of if you set up a city sort of scape for your Animal Crossing area. What I really love about this is it seems that each house has been given kind of a nod towards whatever villager who lives there's personality. Because we have like a trash bin, we've got dirty water, we've got like a, a big hazard barrel next to this house. Then we've got like cute little plants, we've got butterfly, which might just be happenstance. We have got a snow little uh, flake as your reef up there. Just all of the- oh, and look at the roof with the little rocks on it! All these details! Holy cow! I love it! I lo oh, somebody's eating ice cream! That's so cute! And somebody's sweeping! I am such a sucker for when they're doing sweeping. I don't know why. And this! This made me just freak out. Look at this cherry blossom viewing party. I absolutely have to have a cherry blossom viewing party. And is this a new mouse? I don't recognize this mouse. This is one of my goals for the first month of playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Being able to get our hands on the Cherry Blossom viewing party items. This is just too beautiful and I really want to set it up and it looks like the villagers will actually sit down, they'll hang out with you, they'll sit under the Cherry Blossom trees and admire them. You can collect those petals. <gasps> the petals are on the water! This is not a drill, the petals are on the water! Oh, I just can't imagine anything that could make this more immersive and wonderful, you know? And look, it's a winter and we have an Aurora Borealis, an adorable little star backpack. Oh, look at this. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I just can't wait, guys. And Isabel! She's still gonna be there, y'all. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. Look at the winter. 
I've actually seen in other clips you can shake these trees that have all of this glowing lights on them and you actually have different bulbs like light bulbs from the trees like Christmas decorations fall out and I think you collect them as seasonal events kind of like you probably collect the cherry blossoms for the cherry blossom seasonal events. I just love this. There we go. All right. All right, you guys, let's go back to some of my favorite parts for just a second. But tomorrow, 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 and I feel like it just cannot come too soon. And we are going to have such an amazing time creating a very, very special new life and a new world together. So what are you guys looking forward to the most? I don't even know where to begin. I think I'm just open to everything, but especially exploring the natural setting and building up the museum and celebrating the seasons together. And, oh, geez, just, we're gonna do it, you guys. We're gonna do it. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for exploring Animal Crossing New Horizons. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more new adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the beginning of our adventure. Bye-bye.